So I just got to Trout Lake. Um, I was asked to go try and find a fishing rod. He thinks I'm going to try and find it tomorrow, so hopefully I can find it tonight and uh, surprise him with it tonight. Uh, yeah, let's see if I just got to race the sunlight now. So <laughs> let's go. I jumped in the water, and for once, I had a pretty clear location of where the item was actually dropped. So Ryan had sent me this nice map and a search area of where he thinks it was dropped and where he tried to search for it. So like I said, it was only about 10 feet deep or so, and the water was pretty clear. And it was a bit dark, but I had my new light, and that was pretty helpful. So, <laughs> yeah, he had tried for a few hours to try and get it with no luck. He said he had a little grapple or an anchor that he tried fishing through the water to try and snag it. But it is pretty dark here, so it's kind of hard to see the bottom from the surface. It was a fairly easy search. It still took me about 15-20 minutes to find it though. And it was just a whole lot of back and forth over a bunch of just nothing. A lot of weeds, but I found absolutely nothing else in this lake, which is actually a pretty good thing. So I'm not going to make you suffer through the whole 15 minute search, so I'm just going to cut right to the good part. Got it. Got it. Oh yeah. <laughs> we took a little bit of search and we found it. <laughs> Seems alright. Um, pretty dirty, but uh, yeah, it should work alright. So I found the rod. I'm not sure you can see here. I rubbed it off, but it's actually pink. However, because of all the lake gunk and whatever, it's brown now. So. Been down there for, I think you said you lost it in the fall. So, solid six months. Looks in pretty decent condition. Um, better than being tangled. <laughs> Spins was fine. So, he'll be super stoked to get us back. So, how sick would it be if I caught a fish with this rod? Let's give her a go. few minutes later all right no luck for me but we got the rod so that's pretty cool so it took a little bit of searching but i found the rod and the uh, new light i have worked perfect so it was about i don't know, 10 15 feet down it wasn't very deep there was only a little bit sticking out from the mud blow so got a little bit lucky there um i think it's been down since i think you said september last year so it's been under for a while but uh yeah test it out Seems like it works pretty good. So, let's uh, go back and tell them now. Water, like if I can see it, I'll go down and get it. So, do you guys just mind telling me how you lost it? Yeah, sure. Uh, well, we were trying out your nice new belly boats that you had gotten. And uh, what kind of holder was on there? Uh, Scotty rod holder. Scotty rod holder. And uh, I was paddling over to a nice spot that I wanted to try. And I guess my lure that was out in the water got hooked on one of the weeds. and just kind of tipped my <laughs> rod forward and I just watched it plunk down and it was like a slow motion for me trying to grab it in the water as much as I could lean out of the belly boat and it was gone and I think I took a few seconds before I turned around to you and said hey <laughs> baby <Where is> no <laughs> yeah 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 and I think we've what two hours of trying to find it of anchor pulling yep. yeah no luck no luck yeah, yeah. It was a sad moment. <laughs> it yeah. was my birthday too. Oh, oh yeah, it was my birthday. Oh. Yeah, trying out the new belly boats. Happy birthday. Yeah. So yeah, it was about half buried in the weeds and uh, <laughs> you can see the end of it. I only cleaned out a little bit of it. Yeah. It's like totally not pink anymore. So when I first no, grabbed it, really I, was, I was like, this is a brown rod. And I looked at it and I'm like <laughs> rubbed it off a bit. I was like, oh no, it's like <laughs> a pink one. Oh my gosh. So this part was sticking out? Uh, or it was, this uh, was sticking out? I sent you the video, right? Yeah. yeah. So there's I like, I remember. It was the whole thing was buried and then you could just see like the end all past there and the rod is all into the weeds. So <laughs> <Poor thing. laughs> 
Not sure if anybody noticed, but behind Ryan and his girlfriend, there's two young guys on bikes. So as soon as I had stopped recording, um, I had heard a crunch and looked up to see a couple empty cans on the ground where they were standing and seen them biking away. So if anybody knows those two, or if you are those two, I find that extremely disrespectful and it's extremely ignorant to be doing. So please don't do that. There was a garbage can like you can see here, like 20 feet away from where you were standing. Ryan was really thankful we got the ride back for him and he was super nice and gave me some beer and some cash. So man, I really appreciate that. And uh, thanks for watching everyone. And uh, yeah, just don't tell Molson. I feel like I'm cheating on them right now. <laughs> thanks guys.